Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Word. What I want to cover in this session is how to create your own tabs and how to create your own shortcut keys in Word. So first of all, to create your own tabs, there's a ribbon at the moment there. They're all the default tabs. The developer tab has been added, um, which is just a tick box. There's two ways of doing this. You can go into Word options through more commands which takes you into Word Options, and then you need to click on Customize Ribbon. There you can see it, or you can go File, Options, Customize Ribbon. Both ways brings you to this area. Now, if I just tick this one on, because I did this one earlier, click OK to that, you can see I've now got a tab there, Steve, where I've added some features, common features that I would use. So the whole purpose of doing this is to put all the things that you find difficult to find in all these other tabs in one place. And then you can see them there and you can move this so it comes into the first position if you want. This is better, I think, than having them at the top there in the quick access toolbar because although they are easy to see, it's not easy sometimes if you put too many things up there to see what they actually are, unless you're absolutely certain what the symbol does. For example, that one. Not too sure what that was. Now I am. And now back into options. So we can do this. Customize ribbon. Take that tick off Steve for a moment. And I'm going to create a new tab. And then it comes up with new tab. And then you need to rename that. So I'll call this formatting. And then you've got different groups within formatting. So if I rename this first one, um, font, and then create another one and rename that one tables, and then create one more new group, rename that one charts. Click OK. Then it's a case of bringing across the relevant features into that tab. So let's go for bullets, uh, alignment, center. You don't really want to be putting things across here that are already easy accessible, but for demonstration purposes, I'm just going to add these things in to that one font tab now these are just popular commands so if I go and select some of the other options at the top here um, pen tabs so we've got what can I put on there let's go insert tables so let's have that one across add draw table add spreadsheet add and so on and then I forgot what the last one was so you've got um, charts. Um, what can I put into there? I'll just put anything in there. I'll just put page setup. Add. Oops, missed. So I'll take that one back. And add. Orientation, add and stuff, and stuff like that. So if I click OK to that, um, I need to activate it, so it's not there, so go back into it, back to Customize Ribbon, and formatting is on, tick on, OK, formatting is there. So it was on before, but I just couldn't see it. So there's all my little groups, font, table, chart, wrong characters in there. But there you go, and now uh, I could move that to the beginning if I want. So every time I open Word, it will be the first tab that opens. If I just go back and do that, you can see that. So if I click on Formatting and move it above Home, let's see what happens there. So now it comes up first. Before Home, it comes up first. Now to do a, a key command, so I've done a key command already, Alt 3 create a bullet list for me like that the, to do that it's the same area same place so I'll go back into file options and custom ribbon 
and this is the bit down the bottom there keyboard shortcuts customize and what you have here is a list of categories and then the commands within those categories so the insert tab you've got different things um, print view preview tab file page setup has that got a key command no it hasn't but if it did have a key command it would say what it was um, let's see if I can find one that's got a key command right bold two key commands all borders bottom borders that all border is a key command I've done bottom border hasn't got a key command so for bottom border you have to click into this box and then give it the key command that you want so alt 4 I'm going to press so I pressed alt 4 that's unassigned so I can just assign that and then close that for a minute close that and then try it alt 4 bottom border so do another one go back in there customize ribbon customize shortcuts um, onto the home tab let's see what else can do um, insert in fact home tab uh, I did a bullet gallery so I did that one the other day alt plus three to answer somebody's question and that would allow you to put a bullet from the gallery in there create table so I'm going to go alt 5 it's not assigned and then let's see what that one does so sometimes the words that come up here are not what you're expecting so you do need to go and check it to make sure you've got the right um, feature that you're after so I'll close that down click OK come uh, down here somewhere and do alt 5 yeah it's a draw table it's given me that's okay I can handle that not too fussed now if you uh, want to reset everything and get rid of this formatting this formatting tab that you've created you go back into it file options customize ribbon and then you can do reset now the problem with reset it's going to reset all of this as well if I just go reset everything all customizations so maybe I can just delete things off um, and leave them off so they're not, they're not actually ticked if you want to reset it it's fine but that will get rid of everything and basically that's how you customize the ribbon and how you can create shortcut keys if you're doing the same thing over and over again so quite a few of these options on the top there have preset key commands as you can see that one doesn't neither does that one but these ones should and when you point to them it tells you what they are so if you're using something like a font color all the time you may well want to find out what the what the key command is for that if there is one if there isn't a key command you can go and give it one so that's the end of this session. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.